Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. As you can see, I've uh, been able to purchase my uh, my new armor, the uh, Karja Blazon Heavy armor, and that uh, allows us to have a bit more fire defense, but much more important, we look badass as hell. So in the meantime, I have been doing a lot. So I've done a few uh, hunting grounds again, a few hunting ground trials. I've uh, bought this armor with everything I uh, got out of those hunting ground trials. And then I also fought a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird. So to be entirely honest, I fought pretty much everything in the game at this point. But that doesn't mean I'm... Uh, able to kill them quickly of course because those beasts are fearsome and I'm guessing we're gonna be uh, finding them on camera rather soon just gonna kill a bit of wildlife while we at it and uh, today we're actually gonna try and do another cauldron to expand our uh, our arsenal of uh, things we can well machines we can hack machines we can override so the next Goldgun is over there. It's pretty much in the center of the map and we're heading there. So I guess I'll see you guys over there in a second. Okay, apparently there's a death behemoth buried in here. So uh, let's take all that. Thank you very much. There's something in my back. And there we go, taken care of rather quickly. Three uh, scrappers right next to a behemoth. That is interesting. I think that might have been a trap for me then, I suppose. They wanted to take me out. I apparently got hit there for a second. As you can see, I also upgraded my uh, pouch. So now that's at uh, pretty much the maximum it can be as well. So I can fill four bars uh, worth of medicinal herbs so uh, that is nice as well so pretty much upgraded rather nicely so uh we're pretty close to the cauldron already so i don't think i need to to cut any more content because we're about 100 paces away and that means we're almost ready we're almost ready to get uh, another upgrade if we manage to take everything around here out my stealth is of course a lot less now that i'm wearing this armor because, well, it's just not built that way. That's got their attention. So I'm gonna have to be a lot more aggressive than I used to be. But it appears there's only four watchers in this area, which is not that big of a deal. And a dead person over here. So that should be... If that's the only thing... Guarding the entrance to the uh, the vault. That is interesting. Okay then. Oh no, there's something else. Oh no, that's just uh, just the lock, right? We need to do it like that. So just loot every watcher we killed, and then what is this on the left? Is that just something to indicate? Okay. Um, find an entrance. So let's start this thingy then. Find an entrance. So this... This is not supposed to be the entrance, I suppose. Let's get back up there. Uh, medicinal salve brush, thank you very much. Kind of fell into a deep hole without me noticing. Is that something I can climb? Looks like I can climb this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Back upstairs now. How do I get across? Console of unknown design may be vulnerable to military grade override, but that doesn't seem like I can go across, so I think I need to actually do find a way downstairs. Not that there's a downstairs, I mean down this cliff. So let's try this. And uh, maybe heal 
while we're at it. Because I'm guessing we're gonna find a lot of healing herbs while we're at it. A liquid flowing through the pipe, that is... I thought these things were gonna be all the same, but apparently not. Oh, wow. We're spelunking all right. Okay. There's still trees growing here as well, which is interesting. Um, and this still keeps going down. So that means I'm gonna keep going down, because I wanna get those overrides. Looks like I'm not the first to look for a way in. What a waste. Okay, where oh. Ooh. Sorry, dude. Let's see if we can get uh, inside here. Hello? Medicinal herb. And there's the door. I wonder how this guy died then, because there doesn't seem to be anything here. But I'm better prepared. I hope it's enough. Okay, let's override the door then. Because if we're supposed to be coming out on top, we're gonna have a long journey ahead of us. So strap in, boys and girls. We're going in. Oh shit, hi! Damaging the turbine can reverse its direction. What does it do? Okay. <sighs> Looks like things are going my way. Oh. I need to need to grab on. Yeah. Okay, this is interesting. That's another way of puzzling. Okay, what was that? I heard a noise. Heard a noise. And the difference without the stealth armor is incredible, actually, so... I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful than I was before, because I can't really be stealthy at this point. So there's another... Supply crate over here, and I'm gonna check those out if I can, because those usually have some interesting... Uh, loot attached to them but I can spot them with my uh, I can scan those with my focus so I uh, shouldn't be able to miss too many of them another door I need to override but we're still going down which is kind of worrying at the moment okay I need to find a way through that shell Okay. So there's two watchers around here. There we go. I don't think the other watchers saw me because I'm just behind the pillar over here. And stab from above. There we go. So there's nobody else. Oh shit. Maybe there is. And then flaming arrows. Oh, I need to make more of those. Oh, come on, the ones in the back. Critical hit! There we go. And there's the last one. There we go. Machine down. Ravager defeated. Okay. I'm getting pretty used to those guys. So those aren't going to be the problem. I still have a Ravager gun here if I want to. But I'm wondering. I wanna... So I can't cheat this, because that thing would stop me, I think. Okay, never mind. So let's get back up and see what we can do from over there. Oh, I need to grab on, so I need to do this. And do that, okay. Yeah, there we go. I can't go through that, I suppose. 
I'm gonna have to drop down here. Override this thingy. They are... Well, rather different, I must say. I was expecting those cauldrons to be pretty much the same, but then... I wouldn't be doing uh, Gorilla any justice, am I? Let's go to the other side. And jump down. Not yet, not yet. Yeah, there we go. She was really anticipating that jump there, so let's override this thing, because this thing doesn't seem to be a bridge. Right. That should get me through. Okay. So that opened that up. And now just walk in here. Oh, that was... That was a problem. Didn't expect that to happen. Um, can't I? Oh, I can't. That is annoying. Does that mean I need to... Go to the entire opposite side now? God damn it. There we go, hanging on for dear life. Moving forward, and there seems to be another path over there. And then that rotates the other way. So that's that's gonna work out, I think. So let's uh, drop off. Quickly gonna scan if there's not anything I can use. Shoot that thing. Make some more arrows. And then hang on for dear life. Can I actually move? No, I can't. So I'm gonna have to just wait until I'm in the right position. Just hanging around a bit. And three, two, one. There we go. Let's see. Okay, seems like we're on the right track. Hello. There's another vent thingy. And there's a watcher over there. So if he turns around, I'm just going to shoot him with a triple arrow. Should uh, be enough to kill him. You know what? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That killed him off. Seems to be a watcher over there and a watcher over there. That's easy enough. There's another crate over there. Ooh! So with triple with a triple hard point arrow I can actually kill watchers out of right without even needing a a hatchet. So there's a door down there. Interesting. There's all sorts of ways to go. Before I drop down, I wanna want to take a look around here, because there seems to be more here as well, although, no. This just leads down, I don't need the health. But I'm going to climb up there, because there's more loot over there. So, the Watcher, then there's a box over here. Well, a little pyramid, not really a box, but a little pyramid. Then climb this one. Open up the crate, taking all the goodies inside. And now we can actually go over here as well. Another loot pyramid. Where the hell am I going? Doesn't seem to be anything interesting. Machines oh. Collect blaze from the wilds, and it all flows here, like blood to a heart. So the cauldron runs on. Which is further confirming my theory that the machines we know of are actually the green machines made by Elizabeth Sobek. Because they make blaze from nature and that fuels the heart in the cauldron here. Because it actually looks like a heart. It's really, really cool. So this is where we need to go. And then how... What else is there? Because there was another door down there as well. Oh, but that door is just right beneath me, probably. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, the door is right underneath me, so... I don't need to uh, look at anything else. But there are a few... Okay, so watchers. Watchers. I think there was another long leg running around. There we go. Nothing I can't handle, but... 
If I can't take out a few from over here, why not, eh? So... Start. Watch her down. Okay, now the long leg is interested. They know where I am. No, they don't. That's the only one who knew, and now he doesn't. Oh yeah, okay, long legs can scan, that's right. I'm just gonna blast his back with this. There's a Ravager as well. Let's take him out one by one. So they can't really reach me up here, which is good. Oh wow, oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Okay. Something hit me down here. If I can get the Ravager's cannon, which is now on the right, I should be fine. Oh, he's inside of the scenery. I'm just gonna stab him to death. There we go. And now if I can get my hands on the Ravager cannon but without them seeing me, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be really, really good. Yeah, Ravager That's cannon, okay. here we go. Boom, bitch! He's still up. So there's a watcher, probably. There we go. And then there's one more creature up there. Probably another watcher. Yeah, there's another watcher. I can get out of this. Of course you can get out of this. I can aim. Yeah, get back. Woo! Can't destroy the heart this way, apparently. So, uh, maybe I shouldn't even destroy it. Maybe I can actually use it to my benefit. Um, let's quickly loot everything, and I'll see you guys in a second right next to the heart. Although, what was that? Okay, I thought something was happening, but apparently not. Okay, see you guys in a second. So this place is actually really, really nicely made. Look at all this. So I think I need to override this to make a bridge. And then we should be able to get to the heart immediately from over here. And I think that might be the end of the cauldron already. This wasn't such a big deal. I thought it was going to be more difficult than that. Override enable while... Well, unavailable while recharging, so give it a second. And then we should be able to override this thing. Here we go. Okay. One machine hard down. Now what? Okay. Points me in that direction for some reason. Don't know what that did exactly. And I can go over there, but what does that give me? I'm going to take the higher ground if I can. Are there going to be more machines? I haven't been in here, have I? Oh. So these are all going... You know what? I'm just going to swap this one around. 
Come on, grab it. There we go, and then swap over to the other side. No, no, no. There we go. Find the cauldron core. So yeah, that wasn't the core yet. I needed to override the heart so I could access That's this where area. Go. The belly of this giant beast. Okay, so these things are carrying blaze canisters around. Huh. Oh, this leads further up again. Okay. Looks so like we're getting real? somewhere. I can hack That's this one. Go. That's where... Oh, there's the core. Okay. I don't know what's inside. Seems like a snap mall this time. Yeah, okay. Shouldn't be too hard. So let's override the bridge and deal with this core. There we go. So that might actually mean we will be able to override snap malls. Which should be awesome. The lights are coming alive again. Let's take more of the medicinal grey... Uh, well, mushrooms. Mushrooms. They're just mushrooms. I'm not gonna call that anything else. More loot. And then what? Ah! It's water. Oh, I almost bumped my head on that uh, pointy end over there. So this... Should lead me right to where I need to be. Let's craft a bit more of those. Add two arrows to my uh, bow. And then maybe shoot down at the watchers from over here. I'm guessing I can do that. If I would see them. Oh, what the hell. Oh, the snap maw is active already. There we go. So I think the shield only lowers when I activate one of the thingies. So I'm gonna have to fight this the hard way. The music is pumping, by the way. The snap bow is, of course, obviously mad at me. Let's go up here and blast this thing. And override. Override. Override, there we go. Was a bit hard to hit. Maybe I should have set traps. That is that might have been my mistake. Oh, there's a ravager over there as well. Oh shit! Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Just gonna walk through here. Damn it. Jesus Christ, they don't care. I'm not getting out of here. There's a blaze canister on that snap mark. Yeah, he's almost down. There we go. And now we need to explode this thing. Oh, I'm so gonna explode you now. There we go. That was on it. Goodbye. Boom. Cool girls don't look at explosions. That was a bit harder than I expected it to be, but didn't expect that Ravager to show up. Let's loot this guy. 
a plus 34% damage coil, which is always handy. Now let's take a quick look around before we do anything else, because last time there was a purple loot canister around the area as well. So I see something over there. There's another canister. Though it seems to be white as well. There we go, more loot is always welcome, especially those uh, echo shells. Because those are harder to find, especially because they're most prevalent on the bigger creatures. So I'm talking really big, so Thunderjaw and uh, Stormbirds. But there doesn't seem to be any supply crate that is purple. Maybe that one, but I don't think... Doesn't look like it's going to be a purple one. No, it's white as well. So let's take that. And then let's uh, override this core. Because I'm actually wondering which ones we're going to get. I know we can check that in the menu. But it's cooler to see it this way. Which one we're going to get. Oh, you're a bit low there, Aloy. But hey, never mind. That was a strange noise. It was like somebody was screaming. That's it. More machines I can override. Which ones do we get now? Overrides? Overrides? Row overrides available. Which are Ravager. That is good. Trampler, Snapmaw, Shellwalker, and Longleg. Hoo hoo. That is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm guessing we should... Um... Invest in more skills for overriding. So yeah, I think I have enough skill points uh, to do just that. So let's go with combat override and then uh, combat override plus. There we go, which is really, really good. So now we can uh, override machines indefinitely. So uh, and with that, the row, the row um, cauldron completed. A lot of extra overrides unlocked. I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So, down. thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video series. Goodbye! Goodbye, you.